He gon' give it to ya, ex gon' give it to ya He gon' give it to ya First we gonna fuck, then we gonna fold Then we let it pop, don't let it go Ex gon' give it to ya, he gon' give it to ya Ex gon' give it to ya, he gon' give it to ya So what is up fellas, ladies, here I am back again today with a review that's not on a sample box that is actually on a piece of hardware. And if you haven't already guessed what today's subject is, well it's this. The Smoke x Cube 2 by Smoke Smock. And uh, before we even get into this I want to apologize or not. Um, I don't know if it's smoke. I don't know if it's smock. I've talked about this before, but I do want to let everybody know that I contacted literally, this is literally what I did. I contacted this company. I sent them 15 emails in 15 days, 15 days straight. I sent them an email asking them to clarify how to pronounce their name. I didn't want to get it wrong. I let them know I wanted to review one of their products. I wasn't sure how to pronounce the name and I didn't want to embarrass myself. I wanted to do the company justice and they completely ignored me for 15 straight days. So f them. So what I decided to do is call it smoke uh, because it sounds better. I don't know, but that's what I call it. Smoke could be smoke, but I don't know because they won't tell me. So like I said, let's get into the actual mod. Uh, I will say that they're is a lot to go over with this mod and I'm not going to do it. Not because I don't want to. Usually I don't want to waste everybody's time, but just because there's so much going on with this mod that it would take me so long. And I, quite frankly, I don't know how to do everything that this mod can do. So this is going to be a real simple. We're going to look, see what we got in here. Going to take a look at the mod. I'm going to tell you what I know. Um, there are other people who've done probably more in depth, reviews and unboxing than this one you know vaping with twisted 420 he has a, he has a really good one but regardless we're going to go over what i know which isn't a whole hell of a lot so okay to start out this is going to be your box for the smoke x cube 2. i guess there was an x cube one uh i don't know what it is where it is i didn't get it so apparently it doesn't exist or it does exist i don't know but here's your typical smoke box it says original high-end box mod by smoke has the specifications on the back the size the weight yada 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 in typical smoke fashion you can pull the sleeve off and you're left with this black box which is actually really cool really nicely put together take the lid off and here's where your mod sits i got the sweet blacky black because i think it looks awesome take the mod out you can pull this insert out and you have another little secret hole insert hole that you can pull out. So let's pull that out. We'll apologize. I will say that there is a micro USB cord that you can use for upgrading the firmware. I have taken it out and I am charging a mod with it as we speak. So that comes in here. It's pretty short. It is your typical micro USB. In addition, you get this sweet battery safety card, which is good for battery noobs like me. I need all the safety pointers I can get. You have your instruction manuals, all nicely folded. It's actually a pretty in-depth instruction manual. It's pretty thick for a mod instruction manual. I suggest you take a look at it. And you have this sweet velvet drawstring pouch. That you can put your mod in, drawstring it all up and whatnot. Um, I don't know if I'll ever use this or what exactly I would use it for, but it's cool. I like it. It's free and free is always good. But here is your actual mod. Take a quick look at it. You see it has the x cube 2 branding here. It has the Bluetooth capability logo and the 160 watt. Turn it around on the back side on the battery compartment. You see we have some more smoke branding. This battery compartment is very easy to take off. Just give it a little slide and pop it right off. So you'll see your spot for your two 18650 batteries that are not included. Uh, they are labeled which direction to put them, which is always good for noobs like me. There's your two magnets. If we look at the bottom here, you see you have some battery venting and here's your port for your micro USB cable to upgrade your firmware. Take a look at the top. You have your non-adjustable 510 connection. You actually have your square screen on the top of the mod, which is kind of cool. It's different. 
and you have your menu buttons, the up and down buttons. And that's pretty much it. Uh, nothing earth shattering, nothing super weird, no funny shapes. Uh, just a very, very solid mod. Fits really good in my giant hands. If you want a, a comparison, here's my iStick 100 watt. The X-Cube 2 is a little wider. Look at the depth, not much difference and very, very slight difference on the height. X-Cube 2 is actually a tad bit heavier, but that's cool. That's actually what I prefer when I'm at home. Um, when I'm out and about, I like to have the smaller mods. I usually bring my Nautilus with me. That way it's compact, it fits in my pocket. I grab it and go. When I'm at home, I like something that I can sit. I don't have any fear that's gonna fall down. I pick it up, it has some weight to it. It actually fits in my hand nicely. So uh, I love the size, I love the weight. This probably isn't the most portable mod. Um, there are smaller, lighter ones to take with you, but for home use, for me, my opinion, it's fantastic, fits the bill perfect. Before I fire up, I did want to mention, I showed you the micro USB port to upgrade the firmware. As far as I know, there is already a firmware upgrade up to 180 watts. Uh, I have not done it yet, simply because I don't need 180 watts. Right now, I don't need 160 watts, but I got them. But if you're one of those who build your own clapped in quad coiled dragon fires uh, and want to blow up the sun, then by all means, upgrade it, get your 180 watts. It's free. I mean, you already paid for it. Do it, do it now. Here we go, let's take a closer look. I do have a tank on it now. I have the crown with uh, some 0.5 coils because I wanna marry this tank because it's awesome. But in order to turn this X-Cube 2 on, uh, it's like a lot of other mods, you just click the fire button five times and that's where we get to the first cool factor. This entire side is the fire button. There's no actually little tiny button, this whole thing fires. Five times, you can see it turns on, smoke, welcome. And there we go, there's your menu, pretty standard. You have your wattage, this is really hard to see, your battery meter, your voltage, your puff counter, and your ohms resistance, as well as the mode you're vaping in. One of the many, many features of this mod is the fact that it has different modes to vape in. I am right now in normal mode. There are five different ones. Um, very soft, soft, normal, hard, very hard, I think is how they go. And basically from what I can tell, what it does is, let's say you're one of those who wants to take a hit and immediately get the full force of that hit. You would go in hard or very hard. If you're one of those who likes to take a long puff and you want it to gradually build up to that wattage, you go to soft or very soft. If you're like me and want it right there in the middle, you'd go right in the middle, which is normal because I'm a normal type dude. As far as pros and cons go, we'll start with the cons. Um, I really only have one, surprisingly, and that's the fact that the menu system is very weird to me. It's a lot like the smoke X Pro M80 Plus, where the menu system's not incredibly intuitive, at least for dummies like me. A lot of it you have to change, you have to hit this fire button and the plus or minus and they do different things and it gets through and then you have to click it again to get when you're in that menu. And it's, it's a freaking hassle. But that really doesn't affect me at all. And I'll tell you why. Because this mod is Bluetooth compatible. What? Yeah, I know, it's Bluetooth compatible. You can sync this up to your telephone device via the Bluetooth, and there is an app for that. And you can control everything you can do in the menu of this mod, you can also do on the app. And it's much simpler on the app, believe it or not. Uh, you just go to the menu and you either slide or you touch a button or you type in something and bam, it takes effect pretty much immediately. Is something like an app necessary for a mod? No, no. Is it useful? Maybe. It's useful to me because I don't wanna screw around with this menu because I can't figure it out because I'm dumb. Is it cool? Damn right it's cool. Ask every kid on your block. No, don't ask any kids. They shouldn't be vaping anyway. Ask the cool dudes at the cool dude spot because they know that it's pretty damn cool. And again, uh, we'll quickly touch on this app. I don't want to spend a lot of time because it's very, very in depth. 
and I don't want to waste all your time, and maybe that's something you'd like to learn. Uh, luckily, I can see a bunch of stuff in my camera. It says here that it's requesting permission to turn on Bluetooth. Allow? Yes, I'll allow it. Starting on Bluetooth, it's connecting to my mod with this radar, apparently. I don't know what these little dots are, maybe geese. Makes you wait a second, and it tells you to put your passcode in. Anyone who wants to know my passcode, it's right there. It's the default password, which is six zeros. Did I put six? There we go, let's try that. And pow, you're in the app. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see it has the, the temperature if you're vaping in temp control, has your power, your atomizer resistance, all that good stuff. I haven't done anything yet. But you see as I take a puff. There you go, you see I'm reading it 0.5 ohms, running at 50.2 watts, five voltages, and I'm not in temp control so that doesn't mean anything. My puff is three seconds. There's a lot of stuff you can do here. Take a look, there's your, you can change your variable wattage, you can switch it into temp control, you can switch the vape mode, like I was talking about earlier. Calendars that look at your puffs, which gives a crap. All kinds of crap, all kinds of crap you could do with this. Like I said, there's a, there's a ton of stuff, too much to go over, but that's the basic idea how the app works. It's, the app is actually very intuitive and works well. I, have, I don't lose connection. Um, it doesn't skip, it's it's pretty fast. I don't get a lot of lag. Of course, I'm not very far from my mod usually. I don't try to connect from my car or anything like that because that'd be dumb. And that pretty much, pretty much wraps it up other than the fact that this mod not only is 160 watts, but it does have temp control. And the temp control works fantastic. It works just like it should. I'm kind of souring on the whole temp control. Um, I'm leaning towards not giving a damn just because I get a better experience with variable wattage, variable voltage. But whenever I do temp control, which I do, just, you know, I'm still trying to, to figure out how I feel about it. Uh, this works perfectly. Unlike its predecessor, the X Pro M80 Plus, which was a, it worked, but it was a little weird. And it's hard for me to really explain why. It seemed like it was chugging, having to really try hard to heat up and it was a little slow heating up and it was just kind of wonky. It just didn't feel right. This feels perfectly. I just don't use it a lot. So in case I wasn't clear, my cons are the menu system. The menu system, I still don't like Smoke's menu system very much. However, that is rectified by one of my pros, which is the app. A lot of people say it's superfluous, it's worthless, it's gimmicky, and it is. It is gimmicky, and it doesn't have a lot of worth, except the fact that I like it. I like using it. Um, maybe it's because I'm on my phone 24.9 hours out of the day. I don't know. I like it. So it's one of my pros. The other pro, the size, the weight, the functionality. I get pretty good battery life, actually, out of it as well. I use two... Um, LG HE4s, the yellow ones, and I get, you know, I get a day, uh, sometimes a little more. But to end it off, I do want to tell you the most gimmicky part of this mod that happens to be my favorite part, and it is this. If you haven't seen, if this is your first time seeing this mod, check this out when I hit the fire button. Look at that. It's like friggin' Mardi Gras, son. You want a close up? The thing lights up, man. Mm, that's delicious. Yeah, it lights up. You hit it and you can have one solid color out of like 15 billion. I mean, I can't even remember. It's millions, millions of colors. Maybe, maybe a billion? I don't remember that you can choose from. But not only can you have it light up in a solid color, you can have it flash enough to be like the rave you went to back in 98 or you can do like I do and have it gradually rainbow change color and just drift off into vaping bliss. And that's it man this mod's great. It is my current favorite mod. Um, I still love my iStick 100 watt but I love this more. 
I'm not gonna lie, I do like it. I like the cool stuff about it. I like the size, I like the shape, I like the weight, I like the battery life, and I love the gimmicky cool stuff. So, there you go. The X-Cube 2 by Smoke. That's right, Smoke. It's official, I just made it official. It's Smoke. You don't like it, suck it. But if you like what I'm doing, throw me a like. Hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, uh, especially about this mod, because there's a lot to go over, Leave that in the comment section below and we'll rectify that situation. And as always, I'd like to remind you guys to mob that bitch till the wheels fall off.